In this video, we're going to show you how you can add the new My Assignments web parts by Cloud Design Box to your SharePoint page. So on your SharePoint site, you click the edit button to take you into edit mode. And you'll see in each section, if you hover over with your mouse, you'll get a plus icon. So you can decide where you're going to put this web part on the page. I'm going to go into a full width section and I'm going to press the plus button. And this opens up the toolbox of all my web parts. If I type in my assignments, you'll see it filters down so we can easily and quickly find that web part. So I click on the my assignments web part, it adds it to the page, and then I click the publish button to make it live for everybody. If I'm logged in as a teacher, it's going to show me all the assignments uh, that I've set in the future, as to do in the future. If I log in as a student, I get a slightly different view where I can see any assignments that are incomplete that have been set to me. So it will show overdue assignments here as well, and they're, they're indicated by the red writing, and they'll show in date order. So I can see the title of the assignment, when it's due, and which class it was for. And if I click on any of these assignments, it will open up Teams. So I'm just going to open it up in the web app in this, in this case and it will go straight into that assignment for that student. So they can then go straight in and they can work on the assignment and submit it. In this case, I've done my spelling. I'm going to hand my work in late. Going back to the teacher view, if I click on an assignment here, again, it will open up Teams, but this time it will go into the mark book. Now there's a few extra settings in the web part. So if I click the edit button and click the pencil icon on the web part, you'll see that I can actually change the paging on here. So if you've got lots of assignments on a page and you don't want it to take up too much space, then you can change down the amount of assignments you want to see on each page. And you'll see paging appears where I've got page one and page two of the assignments. Or if you want to make sure nobody misses anything, you want, you, you want to show all the assignments on the page, you can increase that number to show a larger number of assignments on the page. And when you're ready, you, you click the publish button. The assignments are updated every two hours, they're cached, um, or you can press the refresh button here if you want to instant refresh. These assignments are linked to all the classes that you have listed in your class dashboard. So in combination to class dashboard, where I can just jump straight into any of the classes that I teach, into any of those team areas, this makes quite a nice uh, complimentary web part to add to your SharePoint uh, intranet.